What have I done? Oh gosh. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Cold. Holy crap. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good thing to start with in Israel is a nice cup of Aroma Coffee. Aroma Cafe is one of my favorites. Getting ready for a new adventure today. Welcome to my brand new vlog, Walk the Land. Today we're gonna head to the north of Israel. I'm actually, I'm here in Magdala along the Sea of Galilee. We're gonna head north to do some crazy climbing down waterfalls, swimming across an icy river. Actually, I don't know what else. All I know is that it's gonna be crazy. And I got my oldest son, Shuki, with me. Shuki, excited? Hey, yeah. Excited? Yep. And Yaakov Schwartz lighting it up over there. Mr. Drone. And waiting for our fourth buddy, Chaim Mailspin, to come pick us up. So welcome today to our brand new vlog, Walk the Land. I'm Joshua. Hi Joshua, how are you? I'm doing great. We're going for a big hike today? Yes. Okay. Of course. Are we nice. going to survive? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> they're like Ready? Hell, yeah. They're large. Okay. <laughs> so, so this wetsuit's a little tight. Well, let's try to get yeah. this thing off. So we can see now the, the last waterfall, uh, 30 meters high, beautiful view. That's the Hidden Lava Canyon. And we're gonna finish our day over there in about three hours, more or less, maybe more. Just below the, the plateau, there's a, there's a cave that looks quite small, but from inside it's really, it's quite big. Wow. So we're gonna make a small stop there. Yeah. So we can just try to imagine maybe, you know, people lived here a thousand years ago and making fire is trying to uh, keep away predators of them or maybe just animals, uh, but it looks like a really nice place to live in. That, oh, and you see this, it's like really kind of a unique shape. This will be uh, just right. do the explanation how you repel. So you have the securing rope that doesn't really matter. As you lean backwards, make small steps that way, all right? It's, like it's quite oh, weird, but if you're leaning backwards, you're more safe than leaning forward. That's right. If you're leaning forward, you might slip. That's right. Oh gosh. It's gonna be a little cold, but you get, it'll, you'll, you'll be through it fast. <laughs> <laughs> And now you can continue by yourself. Are you sure about that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> what have I done? Oh gosh. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Cold. Holy crap. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, nice. Good job, Shuki. Good job. Doing fine. <laughs> you can go slow, fast, whatever you want. Oh, it's so cold. It's cold, huh? <laughs> I uh, uh, didn't have a wetsuit. <laughs> it's like the coldest water I've ever been in in my entire life, and I've been in a lot of cold water. So, 
tell we survived some of the little ones, a big one, but we're told this is the real big one. <laughs> so here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Different business. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh my gosh. This is my uh, drone. Or my... Oh my gosh. I feel like lean forward now. Ah! This is awesome. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Look out, Tom Cruise. Oh, not that way. <laughs> I'm all right, I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Get it! Woo! Now we just pray for my my only my eldest son Chuki that he makes it down safely. Oh. <laughs> Woo! So tell me, have you had a lot of people very afraid to go over the edge and just turn back and in fear? So, so it happens quite frequently. Like uh, you are quite brave, actually, but most people are <laughs> not, not not maybe most people, but a lot of people get really really scared. Some people just decide they don't want to do it. Yeah. And cool. Like Jakob said, you just met me today. Yeah. Uh, things can happen. <laughs> Our life yeah. was in your hands. Um, so, um, but yeah, it, yeah, like I just, I just told them that I think religious people are quite brave. Maybe it's because of their emuna and uh, in the, the Shem, faith, yeah. the faith in God. But maybe it's also a matter of just, you know, some people just afraid of heights. It's yeah. really normal. What's the statistics like religious people you said were? I, I, I guess about maybe three, three people that are secular would be like, I don't want to do it. And maybe religious one out of 20. Okay, okay. Wow. That's cool. Fate's got something to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> and trust in you as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are a great guide. Thank you. Yeah, it's great <laughs> to be with you. It's been awesome. We're all alive. Oh, yes, what a trip, what a day. I wasn't sure if we were going to make it. It was The water was freezing. Um, the cliffs were high. I've never done anything like it. I like to do adventure things, but I've never repelled anything that big. Um, I brought my 14-year-old son with me. He's almost 15. And he had a blast, and it was such a joyous time. Thank you so much for to Israel Extreme, our our guides, a uh, company that led us on the way, and specifically our guide Lyle, who did an awesome, awesome job. You know, a lot of things I was thinking about. I was I was going on this hike. You know, just the the, the trust acts aspect. The Bible says, any man who has his hope fixed on him purifies himself just as he is pure. It's one thing to do things stupidly, but another thing to not be worried about every single thing around you because we know we're in God's hands. And it was cool to see that um, Lyle was mentioning some of his most, uh, uh, well, most the people who had the most trust in the trip were the people who believed in God or uh, had faith, had faith. And I, I wanna encourage you guys to have faith um, in God and all that you do, he's got you in the palm of his hand, no matter what's going on. And I want to thank you so much for walking the land with us right here in Israel. God bless you and stay tuned. Hey, don't forget to subscribe, click the button, uh, click the bell so you're notified for our next video. But welcome to my brand new vlog, Walk the Land. Stay tuned for my next video. God bless.